Hey there and welcome to another video with Ulrich. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the missing purchase issue on your ClickFunnels page. So I'm sure you may have come across uh, like an error, right? Your customer or you fill in your details here. And then later on, when you play, press complete order, uh, you know, it says missing, like, you know, missing purchase. So, you know, we are going to try different scenarios to fix these sp specific issues. So you need to head head into your sales funnel backend. The very first thing we need to do is we need to check if you do have a product on your order form. So you go here on products. And as you can see, I do have two products. So I, I have a product variation and then an order bump, right? So these are my two products. Okay, that's one option, right? So um, we're going to test the other option. The other option is we need to go here on settings. And on settings, we need to make sure we do have the right Stripe account connected. So, you know, I, I'm, I'm only using uh, one Stripe account because I do have the $97 plans, but maybe you have like the 297 plan and you do have many payment system integrated. So, if even you are using the $97 plan, you might have other payment system integrated. So just make sure you have the right account uh, connected here. And once you've checked all of that, um, head down to, to the very bottom here and click on save, save and update. Other thing that could make your, your sales funnel not work, right, is to, so let's head back into order form. And once you head back into order form, you need to click on edit. And once you click on edit, you will be on this specific page. So for example, here, I have added this product, right? I, I, and then I created a product variation. So you need to make sure that you, you head down here to, to this specific area. If you've added a product variation, uh, you need to add product variation slash variation selector right you need to add that and then you come down here as well make sure you add this this one as well so you add the second one a uh, product variation order summary i mean this you see this mustn't be like a big issue but this could be an issue as well um and make sure your credit card field here is correct right uh card number csv card expiring date so you do have all those details here is correct and now on the complete order button if you click here uh set action must be set to submit order form simple so like if you go to go to next step in the funnel right this this does not submit your form so you you must leave it to submit order form and once you've done that submit order form uh, don't forget to save. Another reason why you might have a missing purchase issue is like um, on this go to submit on submit to right. You might have like a wait URL here, you know, which says something else. So here you must have like nothing, right? Leave it like that. Uh, if you do have something here like a pound symbol, just delete it and save. So these are the options. I think I've now exhausted all of the options on the table. So let me see. Yeah, so basically that's it. Make sure your work is safe afterwards and then test your, test your funnel. So now this issue is, you, 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 you might also have this issue on your one-time offer or your downsells funnel step as well, you know. Make sure you add products on every single steps, otherwise, you might not be able to do things accordingly because you haven't done things properly. And I think that's everything really. So thank you for watching this video. If you do have any questions, uh, drop it in the comment section down below. And I'm looking forward to see you next time. Take care. Bye.